And Hidalgo defending there, a big reason why. Three point attempt is down. Robinson drains a triple. We have our first points of the night. In the backcourt in Harris and Robinson, who is someone who can really be used all over the place. There's a beautiful feed down low, and Whitehorn puts in the alley oop. Great execution, great screen in the back of the zone. Hidalgo looks to go down low. Ali Watson spinning for a lane. Dangerous pass there, and it is knocked away. Harris on the break, lays it up and in. Good active hands by Harris. I'm excited for this matchup between her and Hidalgo. There she goes early. That one's off the mark, but Westbelt for the rebound. Well, Clemson got off to a strong start in its last contest. Had a decent-sized lead in the first quarter over the pin as Hidalgo while falling. I don't mind the misses from DeWolf. It's good to see her be aggressive early. Notre Dame needs more of that from her. That's a three ball again. Robinson drains her second from beyond the arc. No lack of quality teams in this conference. Just looking at the standings a few moments ago. Marshall inside, swings one too long. Bransford and the foul. Because of Marshall's tip, Marshall drives it. KK gets it back for the AM1. She's and, good to stay in, though. And Marquez always ready at the end of that bench. Comes in showing some pressure as Notre Dame moves it up. Citron drains the three. Seven to shoot for Clemson after the two Marshall free throws tied it for Notre Dame. Harris pulls up. Tough shot over Marshall, and she gets it to go. Great contest by Citron. Clean contest, being smart. Already has one foul. Doesn't want to pick up the second. Westbelt with a bit of a rush release, but the mar rebound goes right to Marshall. Kick out for Citron. DeWolf drains the three. Whitehorn was looking for an option down low. There goes the pass from Harris for Robinson, but Notre Dame was able to knock it away. Citron to Watson in stride for two more. That has been a theme at times for the Irish this year. They've had some slow starts, even at home. Citron from the corner adds three more. Well, another quiet scoring start for Hannah Hidalgo with just the two points, but obviously has still found a way to make an impact with a beautiful pass right there. Clemson answers with a corner three of their own as Whitehorn. They're 14th out of 15 teams in the ACC and turnover margin. That's despite forcing a good amount of steals. A beautiful pass finds Citron. Simon's Clemson getting the takeaway. And then they give it right back. Citron lays it up and in. It was a quiet first half for Westbelt as well. Had a couple of early shots and then went silent in terms of scoring. But Kylie Watson, who gave Notre Dame some good contribution. Defense has to respect her drive every time, even though she's been quiet offensively. It's going to open up more opportunities for other people in the Notre Dame offense. Here's Westbelt again. She turns and knocks that one down. Bransford and Marshall back in for Notre Dame. A pass right into the path of Citron. She spots it all go. This time she won't miss. Opportunities away in that aggressive Notre Dame offense. And Danielle Rausch, active hands, forces a travel on Bransford. Well, if you're Clemson right now, you have to feel this game starting to slip away, but they can get back in it if they hit shots like that. Steal number two for Hannah Hidalgo, who averages five a game. And Coach Ivy credited her with really turning around the effort of this Notre Dame defense and helping them become one of the best units in the country when it comes to forcing turnovers. She pesters again and gets it away again. Skips it ahead to Wolf, two more. And let it fuel you, let it motivate you the right way. Five to shoot for Bransford. Low post, Watson up and in. Great to see Kylie Watson, really good percentage tonight. She looks confident, looks like a completely different player from the last couple games. Irish with seven blocks tonight, four of them coming from Nat Marshall. Has some space to drive in here, but good defense from Watson with it all go helping on the back end. I still love the attack by Valentine. Great find by Hidalgo to Westbelt. Mentioned earlier, Notre Dame's last two games of the regular season might be one of the hardest two-game slates to finish the year in the country. As Hidalgo with the easy layup off the stretch pass. 
sometimes they shouldn't be as three-point happy given some of their best shooters are out. They have to find some other options and make some different reads. Watson's rebound sets up an and one opportunity for Anna DeWolf. By DeWolf, that's a veteran move, helping out her teammate. Good find by Kylie Watson and great job, body control. Look at some of those other numbers for the Irish tonight. 18 forced turnover. Anna Brown medically DQ'd. Sarah Sernugles a walk-on. And then you have Maddie Westbelt and Nat Marshall who have been here since the start of the Neil Ivy era. And she said that they all just have a genuine love and care. You have to credit both of these teams. By the looks of the game right now, you would not expect this large lead and only two minutes left as Brantford attempts one from three. And it's a 27-point senior night victory for Notre Dame.